I, I know I'm back in Connecticut when, I don't know, what are you, like 35? Like a 35-year-old man tells me that he used to watch me playing when he was growing up. And when, this, when uh, there's more cameras um, that I'm speaking in front of than the past five years combined. So I know I'm back home. <laughs> and I'm thrilled to be here. Um, I'm thrilled to be back in Connecticut. I'm thrilled to be part of the Connecticut Sun organization. And I want to thank the Tribal Council, um, the Mohegan leadership, and everybody that was involved in bringing me here. Um, Kristen, uh, Jeff, Sarah, Dave, Don, uh, Kathy and Beth, uh, the twins, um, Kevin, Ray, Tom, um, and of course, Kurt Miller. Uh, it's been quite a, a whirlwind four weeks for me. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge my family that's here, my sister-in-law, Kathy, who is very excited that I'm coming home with her brother because she lives in Norwich and has always been a women's basketball fan, no matter where we, I played or where we coached. Um, my parents, who tried to stay out and um, out of the decision and stay pretty neutral as I was mulling this over, um, but as soon as I told them that I, accepted, I was going to accept the job, they were thrilled that I was bringing their grandchildren home. Um, they live in Hebron, so they'll not be too far away, so we're excited to be uh, bringing our family back to our family. And then, of course, my husband, Bill Sullivan. Basically, the reason that I'm here, I, we've been married a long time. <laughs> uh, we met at UConn. Um, we've been together since my junior year, so 1995. He still takes credit for us winning the national championship because we started dating in January of 1995. So he thinks that he's the reason that we went undefeated that season. Um, but we've been through the journey together. Um, you know, obviously my successes as a coach at the University of Hartford and at George Washington, um, um, the sacrifices that he has made to allow me to um, succeed as a head coach um, while he's doing all the dirty work behind the scenes as my assistant, um, sacrifices that he made for our family as we moved to Virginia, away from the comfort of our family who watched our kids all the time. Um, you know, I think that I, I certainly wouldn't be standing here today um, without his support, um, without him making me better as a coach and a wife and a mother. Um, and it has always been a family affair for us. Um, my mom was on that trip to Bowling Green. Do you remember that? Um, we had Holden at the time, and he was little, so we couldn't travel without one of our family members, uh, either Kathy or mom or dad. And I remember the weather was horrible when we were there. Um, our bus almost drove off the road as we were going to the game. I think Holden was sick, so it was one of the most miserable, you know, road trips of my time at, at, at Hartford. And then we got beat by Kurt in front of this crowd that was screaming at me the entire game, um, giving me a hard time. But as you heard Kurt say, we got, back, we got back at him the next year. That was Sully's scout, and he was determined to make sure that we evened up the series when we beat Bowling Green at Hartford. So Kurt and I certainly go a long way back. And I appreciate his words. Um, you know, I've been in this business a long time, and, and the friends and the colleagues that I have um, been introduced to and that I have made in this business um, have really bolstered me over the last couple weeks, um, you know, through the transition from GW and through the decision-making process that brought me here to the Connecticut Sun. All right, I, I couldn't get my speech printed out here um, before I came over, so I'm a little bit, uh, I don't have as big a font as Jeff had. Um, but over the past few weeks, I learned a lot about what goes on here at Mohegan. Um, and the more I realized, the more I, I knew that I couldn't pass up this opportunity. Uh, where I've had the greatest success in my career has had very distinct, char d distinctive characteristics. From my time at UConn as a player to the University of Hartford and all of my years with USA Basketball, the similar similarities are very clear. Great people who value the right things. A commitment to excellence that isn't talked about, but shown in their everyday actions. And an atmosphere that supports you and makes you feel like family. That's the feeling that I got in the weeks while learning about this job. And don't get me wrong, I've been to the Mohegan Sun many times. I've eaten at their restaurants, gambled at their tables, stayed in their hotel, and most importantly, attended many of Connecticut Sun basketball games. The attention to detail and the service to, and their commitment to being the best has always been obvious. But finding out that they do all of it while having fun and supporting each other 
is what made this a reality for me. I'm very excited to be working with and for this incredible group of women and this coaching staff. The roster is littered with all-stars uh, and longtime veterans, Jasmine Thomas, Alyssa Thomas, John Quell Jones, Dewana Bonner, Brian January, um, all complemented by Kurt and his staff and these wonderful, impressive, up-and-coming young players. Um, this coaching staff, as Jeff has said, has, has led the K Connecticut to the most playoff wins in the past two seasons than any other active coaching staff. So the Connecticut Sun is definitely the place to be. I've only known playing and coaching in my professional career so far, and throughout my coaching career, I've always measured my success based on the impact that I've had on the lives of the players on and off the court, and in college and beyond. Uh, when I think about, when thinking about this career pivot, it, it occurred to me that I could continue to have that kind of an impact, but on a much larger scale. I want to make a difference in the lives of our players and in their futures. I want to support our coaches in ways that I would want to be supported as a coach, and I want to positively, positively impact our fans and our community in the greatest state to be a women's basketball fan. I know I have big shoes to fill. Um, both Chris Yanko and Amber Cox make significant contributions to the success of this franchise. The Sun has already made an impression on this state and in this community, both on and off the floor. So I will continue to build on that foundation. I will engage our community. I will communicate the mission of our Change Can't Wait platform to be sure that our franchise continues to lead the way in working to eradicate racism in our communities. I will work hard to continue to make this a destination for any player that wants to compete for championships, get treated like family, and play in front of one of the most loyal fan bases in the country. I understand that this position allows me to lead in a way that I have never led before. It'll challenge me in ways that I don't even know yet, especially after day two. But what I do know is that we have the state of Connecticut behind us. We have the support of the Mohegan Sun and the Mohegan Tribe. And we, as we enter the 25th season of the WNBA, people are starting to finally realize that investing in women is the smart thing to do. The women of the WNBA embraced the Say Her Name campaign last summer in the bubble. They brought awareness to so many female victims of police brutality. They worked to get Reverend Warnock elected in Georgia. They fought to change ownership when they were being led by somebody who didn't value their lives. They have proven that they are beautiful, fierce, competitive, and not afraid to stand for what is right. And they embrace the challenge of changing the world. That's what makes me proud to be an alum of this league and have my, my career come back full circle to be involved once again. The women at the Connecticut Sun and the WNBA are the best in the world at what they do. And I invite all of you to come and witness that in person this summer as we kick off our home schedule on May 16th. Thank you so much.